so it's happened again pretty similar to last week we've had an error with our screen recording and i only just noticed as we completed the draft of week two in our first try as well uh but luckily uh, I did realize what is going wrong. It's because my microphone is on a few times and sometimes that does cause an error with the iPhone screen recording. But uh, fortunately now that I know about it, I won't make any more mistakes with that so it won't happen with the messy one. So I just decided uh, you guys should stick around because I will be giving you tips and I will show you guys how easy this draft is by doing it once again in the first try again. I am that confident that I will be able to do it and I'll also talk to you guys about this initial draft that I just did um, after I show you guys the stats for Cristiano Ronaldo very good card 99 attack so obviously you want to stick around and watch it uh, in case you are having trouble with it or you can just watch it if you're looking for some decent content you know it's not the best of content but you know what are you gonna do on a Saturday night uh, so as you guys can see we did complete our draft with this uh, draft draft of the week weekly objective sorry with this draft and uh, we're gonna show it how to do it after this ad yeah surely people are gonna struggle with that aren't they great game okay theoretically speaking that game should be paying me for that ad anyways let's get into the formation uh, first up we are gonna look for a 4-3-3 because you can get Ronaldo at striker left wing and right wing and then uh, the next thing you're going to prioritize is uh, probably getting your um, Portuguese players. That's going to be the hardest task of all. Uh, we had it much easier in our first draft though. And uh, as you guys can see here, uh, in our captain's pick, we did take Bernardo Silva. Uh, we went for our Quadrado next, but we should have probably gone with Carvajal or uh, Ramos first up then and there. But then obviously once you are looking for your Ronaldo at left wing, striker and right wing, after that if you can seal off your Juve players up top that's good, but otherwise you're going to come down uh, to the centre backs goalkeeper position and look for your Juventus players and then you can build your Portuguese players from your right back, left back, centre mid and winger positions because you have uh, obviously you have Bernardo Silva, you have Nelson Zamedo, you have Ricardo Pereira, you have Rafa Pizzi. You know, these are just a few options. I could keep going on with Bruno Fernandes, Joao Moutinho, Diego Jota. You know, all of these players just keep popping up along with Joao Felix as well, who just popped up. Um, I didn't mean to time it so well. But anyways, as you guys uh, can see here, we had the option to take Ronaldo, but it would be overmining because uh, we already had Shez, uh, sorry, no, not Chesney, Quadrado de Lit, uh in the defense. Uh, so that was our Juve players done. So all we needed was basically Real Madrid players. So I did go with Ramos because Joao Felix would have been um, pivotal to get that right-sided Real Madrid chemistry. And uh, you guys are going to see that it does work out eventually for us. We're going to take Bale anyways so that he provides us a backup option. Now here you could probably think, okay, he's got to go Modric. But I went with Gerard because uh, icons when you can take them why why don't you take them and as you guys can see he links together lots of players and now i'm super confident that this one player i must say i did get a bit lucky getting that james rodriguez but real madrid have a whole bunch of center mids who are pretty high rated that keep popping up every now and then and we have that griezmann who just completes the chemistry and i'm pretty sure if you guys are running the math you guys will realize that we are done with this draft of the week as you guys can see i have talked about the formations i've talked about the players to pick the final thing we've got to talk about is about when to restart you might actually want to restart a couple of times this time though because um first up though i'll show you guys that this thing has been completed so as you guys can see we need uh one pc bits sbc player two juventus players two madrid players and three portuguese players we have two pc bits sbc players in fact uh, three Juve players, uh, sorry, two Juve players, two Real Madrid players, and four Portuguese players right there. Uh, so as far as it went, uh, as far as it comes to when to restart, you probably want to restart only if your Real Madrid players and Juve players are far apart from each other, and your Portuguese players are far apart from each other, meaning they don't link up together. Uh, obviously, your formations, you want to go for formations with wingers so that you can get all types of Ronaldos into play. Bernardo Silva at right wing and center mid, all of that stuff should also be good. But yeah, apart from that, um, 
Oh, I was talking about restanding, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think we're done talking about restanding, I'm sorry. I was saying I'm sorry too much, but anyways, um, that's the only time you want to restart when your Portuguese players, Real Madrid players, or um, UA players are too far apart and not linking together. So anyways, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe for more such content. I'll make sure I don't fuck up next time around with the Messi draft and uh, hopefully you guys will be seeing a 99 rated Pacey Bits Messi next to the Mbappe. So I'll see you guys with another video real soon. Until then, goodbye.